Welcome back to PipingStress.net, where we simplify complex engineering topics for piping professionals around the world. If you're a mechanical engineer, a fresh graduate, or even an experienced engineer looking to specialize, you're in the right place, because today, we're diving into one of the most asked questions we get. How can I get a job as a piping stress engineer? Now, this is not just about job portals or polishing your CV. This is about understanding the industry, knowing where you fit in, and learning how to stand out. Whether you're coming from design, construction, or even QAQC, stress engineering can be your next career path, if you know how to approach it right. Grab a coffee, take notes if you can, and stick around, because this video could be the turning point in your career as a piping stress engineer. Piping stress engineering is a specialized field in the oil and gas, power, chemical, and petrochemical industries. With the growing demand for safe and efficient piping systems, skilled stress engineers are in high demand. However, securing a job in this field can be challenging, especially for beginners. In this guide, we'll explore the steps to finding a job as a piping stress engineer, from required skills to job search strategies. 1. Understanding the role of a piping stress engineer. A piping stress engineer is responsible for analyzing piping systems to ensure they can withstand thermal expansion, pressure, weight, vibration, and external forces. This role is crucial for preventing failures that could lead to safety hazards or operational downtime. Key responsibilities include Conducting stress analysis using software like Caesar 2, Autopipe, or Roar 2 Ensuring compliance with industry codes and standards, ASME B31.3, ASME B31.1, API 579, etc. Designing and optimizing pipe support systems Collaborating with piping designers, structural engineers, and process engineers. 2. Required skills and qualifications. To become a piping stress engineer, you typically need educational background, a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, civil engineering, or a related field, a master's degree in stress analysis, finite element analysis, or piping design, optional but beneficial. Technical skills. Proficiency in stress analysis software, Caesar 2, Autopipe, finite element analysis tools. Strong understanding of ASME codes, B31.3, B31.1, B31.4, B31.8, API standards, and company specifications. Knowledge of piping layout and support design. Basic understanding of finite element analysis for complex stress evaluation. Soft skills. Problem solving and analytical thinking. Communication skills for working with multidisciplinary teams. Attention to detail for reviewing calculations and drawings. Three, gaining experience and certifications. If you're a fresher or transitioning into piping stress engineering, consider the items below. Look for internships and entry-level jobs in EPC companies, consulting firms, or construction companies. Take ASME, API, or Caesar II training courses. Work on real-world piping problems. This will boost your understanding. Learn stress analysis software. Four, building a strong resume. 
Your resume should clearly highlight your educational qualifications, relevant software skills, internship or project experience, knowledge of codes and standards, certifications, and training programs. If you have experience, include the details of projects you've been involved in, such as pipe stress analysis for high-temperature systems, seismic analysis of piping systems, and equipment nozzle load calculations. A LinkedIn portfolio showcasing your projects can also improve your chances of being noticed by recruiters. There are several job portals and websites for job applications. You can apply through LinkedIn, Indeed, Glassdoor, or Oil and Gas Job Search, which are popular platforms for engineering job openings. Additionally, you can apply to many EPC and engineering companies for job vacancies directly on their career pages. Once you land an interview, focus on both technical and behavioral questions. Here are the common technical topics. Basics of Pipe Stress Analysis Ask me B31.3 Code Related Questions Load Case Studies Nozzle Load Calculation and Equipment Piping Behaviors And now, let's see the possible behavioral questions. Tell me about a time you solved a piping stress issue. How do you handle a tight deadline? Describe a challenge you faced in a project and how you solved it. Before you go for an interview, visit pipingstress.net to get beneficial information. We listed the blog posts in the description that you should visit on our website before the interviews. If you don't land a piping stress job immediately, consider alternative paths such as starting in a piping design role or working as a structural engineer. Also, a master's degree in piping engineering or structural analysis can open advanced career opportunities. After a long-term career growth, you can progress to roles as a senior piping stress engineer, lead stress engineer, piping engineering manager, or independent consultant. Finding a job as a piping stress engineer requires technical expertise, networking, and persistence. If you're just starting out, focus on gaining skills and certifications and connecting with industry professionals. By building a strong portfolio and preparing well for interviews, you can increase your chances of securing a role in this specialized field. If you liked the video, please subscribe and hit the like button for more videos.